Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a fantastic week. In today's video, Olive and I are gonna tell you how to prepare for a vet visit. Going to the vets is one of the most stressful experiences we can have with our birds. Of course, we never want them to be sick, but there are some steps that we can take before they need to go to a vet to make it as stress-free as possible. Now, the first thing that is so important is to find a vet before you need them. I say this all the time. Doesn't matter where you are in the world, please send me a message, a comment, an email. My email's always in the description of the videos. A uh, message on Instagram, TikTok, wherever it is. I will help you find an avian vet because there are some out there in all places in the world. So we can find one together. So you have one before you need them because it's so stressful if your bird becomes sick and you're like, ah, I need to find a vet, what do I do? And of course you can't take your bird to to a normal sort of dog and cat vet because they just haven't got the training for these sensitive little creatures so you need to make sure they're seeing an appropriate vet who's got the training to be able to look after them. Now one of the first things that you need to start doing to get your bird prepared for a vet visit is to get them desensitized to a travel carrier. The most stressful thing you can do on a vet visit day is try and bundle your bird into a travel carrier when they're not trained to go in there. They're gonna get really scared and really fearful and the whole experience is going to be even worse for them. So doing some travel carrier training is so important to get them used to that experience and make it a positive place to be. I do have a travel carrier training video on Patreon if you want to go and check that out on there. Um, but yeah, it's super important to make sure you've got an appropriate sized one that your bird is gonna be nice and comfortable in. Next up is desensitizing your bird to going on car journeys. Your bird may be used to that already, which is awesome, but if they're not, it's useful to get them um, kind of used to being in a car and moving around because for a lot of birds, they do get quite car sick and quite stressed for the experience. Um, you can offer your bird a piece of ginger or ginger tea about 30 minutes before they're about to go in the car and that can help naturally to reduce the likelihood of car sickness and nausea. So having them kind of go in the travel carrier, go in the car, do like a dry run to the vets or just go for a little uh, drive around the block and then come back again is going to get them used to it. So again, the whole experience isn't completely new for them when they do need to go to a vet. The next type of desense work you can do with a bird, which is good for all different kinds of things as well as vet visits, is just getting them used to different objects coming close that they wouldn't normally see in their everyday life. So it could be something really random like a kitchen spatula or your shampoo bottle in the bathroom, but just getting them used to new objects being around them is gonna help because obviously in the vets, they've got different tools, they've got stethoscopes and things to look in their eyes and all that kind of stuff. That's really different and kind of scary. So if your bird is used to different things coming into their environment, that will be a less scary experience. And a lot of birds who are already scared of that are what we call neophobic. And I have a whole video all about neophobia, which you might find useful about why birds are scared of new things. Syringe training is also another important thing you can train your bird. Again, I've got a tutorial on my channel of how to get your bird to take medication voluntarily. Again, we hope that our birds aren't gonna be sick, but if they do end up needing medication after their vet visit, you will have the peace of mind that they will be able to take their medication voluntarily instead of having to restrain them. So do check out that video after this one because it's a really important one. And again, it's a behavior to train before you need it. So when your bird is in the vet, they may need to be toweled by your vet uh, in order to have a full exam and body check and things like that. So if your bird is already used to kind of being enclosed in a towel in a safe way where their chest is not being restricted, then that could be a really great way of getting them prepared for that sensation if they aren't used to it already. And remember when you are doing any kind of toweling descents with your bird, don't ever kind of grab them around the back and the chest and hold them that way like a burrito really hard because your bird needs to be able to expand and contract their chest um, a lot in order to be able to breathe. So if you're restricting them in any way by enclosing them like that, then they are not going to be able to breathe. So when you are doing toweling training, just kind of have the towel around, let your bird kind of run all over it. Maybe they can run under it like a tunnel, play a bit of peekaboo, that kind of thing, just to get them used to a towel being around them. So again, it's less stressful in the vet visit. Now, if your bird is sick and that's the reason why you're going to the vet and it's not just for a general exam, one of the things that's really useful and we found it useful when baby Olive was sick was to actually video her symptoms um, before taking her to the vet because of course uh, it's typical that when we do take our birds to the vet they pretend that nothing's wrong because obviously they're a prey animal they're trying to hide any symptoms so when Olive was sick she got something stuck in her syrinx uh, we took some videos at home of her unusual breathing and noises she was making so that we could show the vet in the appointment again it's a noisy environment a uh, bit stressful birds are going to try and hide the symptoms as much as possible so it's a lot easier for us to kind of show the vet what was going on as well as the vet being able to do the kind of body exam and 
things like that, which made the whole experience uh, more beneficial because we could actually show what was going on um, and then get all of the treatment she needed. And she was such a good girl, weren't you? You were so smart. Oh, thank you for the kisses. Now a vet visit is stressful for our birds but it's also stressful for us so one of the things that I really recommend is to prepare yourself for the vet visit. So any questions you want to ask, a list of symptoms you've seen your bird exhibit um, and anything else that you think is relevant to the vet so that they can make um, a informed judgment about what may be going on with your bird. Because when you get in that appointment room, your mind's gonna go blank, you're not gonna know what's going on, and you're gonna be just worried about your bird. So if you've got everything written down, it's a lot easier to kind of communicate that information, uh, and then hopefully we'll be able to find out what's going on with your bird uh, and get them the treatment they need. And the last thing that's so important for your bird, not only for a vet visit, but their general care, is to weigh your bird regularly and have a record of it. So again, you're going into the appointment, you know what your bird's weight is on the day, and also how their weight has been um, previously as well, so you can see if there's been any changes there. The other good thing about being able to tell your vet what your bird's weight is on the day is if they are prescribed any medication, it's normally based on your bird's weight. So they'll be able to get the right dosage uh, without having to weigh your bird and stress them out and restrain them again. So that's just something really useful again, taking as much of the stress out of that appointment as possible. So that brings me to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed learning how to prepare for a vet visit for your bird. If you have any tips of your own that you found useful for getting ready for a vet visit with your bird, do let me know in the comments. And again, if you need any help finding a vet where you are in the world, please drop me a message, email, comment anytime. I would love to speak to you. But in the meantime, from me and a very excited baby Olive, thanks for watching, take care, and see you later. Say bye.